Fareed's new foreign affairs essay on U.S. overreactions to China's rise. David Frum writes, the trade war was useless. Another update from Brer Caleb, Ph.D. Building on Fareed's new foreign affairs essay on U.S. overreactions to China's rise, David Frum writes for The Atlantic that President Trump's trade war has been futile. After last week's Phase 1 deal, Frum writes that the U.S. has gained little. Trump has picked a tough fight while scuttling America's best asset, its allies. By withdrawing from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, we push Japan into a recession. By berating global trade, unsettling South Korea by intimidating nuclear war with the North, and going back on a refugee settlement deal with Australia, and Trump exhausted America's network of friends at an inopportune time. The U.S. no longer protects Gulf oil. Trump's slogan of America first in rehearsal changes to America alone. In the 21st century, America on your own means China first, America second, from rights. Trump's, I order, you salute model of leadership will end at best in tragedy and at worst in downfall. President Trump ended decades of U.S. policy to safeguard Persian Gulf oil, according to authors Hal Brands, Stephen A. Cook, and Kenneth M. Pollock at Foreign Policy. Because President Jimmy Carter, the U.S. provided regional security to ensure oil keeps flowing to world buyers. Yet Trump declined to retaliate over attacks on Saudi oil facilities in September, and the withdrawal shocked America's Gulf Cooperation Council allies while giving Iran a free hand. Trump's withdrawal from the 2015 nuclear deal, the sources argue, his policies made any future deal unlikely and steadied power in Iran's favor. Iran's hardliners. For Iran's tyrants, even after the extensive complaints that stunned Iran last month, the economic pain that a new nuclear deal might lessen is probably of lesser value than the geostrategic goal of cut off the U.S. GCC partnership and coercing the United States out of the Gulf, the writer's record. Do you see now, you, my friend watching on your cell phone or computer, you are like a battery. A battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cells with external connections provided to power electrical devices such as flashlights, mobile phones, and electric cars. When your battery is supplying electric power, its positive terminal is the cathode and its negative terminal is the anode. My name is Brer Caleb, PhD. And I am a changemaker. The pen name is of a citizen of the other kingdom, and the PhD stands for Posthole Digger, for we will continue to dig for a proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Less is more.